Hey, what is up, everybody? So it looks like we finally got this kernel exploit for the Xbox System OS. Now, this was by Emma, who is the exploit author. And what she said right here was, was that I'm excited to share collateral damage, a kernel exploit for System OS on Xbox One and in the series of consoles. This initial release is mostly intended for developers, but I hope people will enjoy playing around with it, write up and more updates in the near future. There's still a lot of work to be done to make this an easy to use tool for homebrew, but the kernel exploitation part is fairly reliable now. So I wanted to share it and give others a chance to start poking around at system OS in retail mode. She did mention that this is not a jailbreak and that it will not allow piracy. If we just go ahead and we take a look at the GitHub repo, what we can see right here is, is that it says that collateral damage is a kernel exploit for Xbox System OX using this CVE. Because it does state that it targets Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles running kernel versions and it's all three of these that's listed right here. Now, if we take a look at this version right here over on the Xbox site, what we can see is, is that this was patched in the July 2024. As you can tell by these last four digits here, which is 4910 versus this one going only up to 4909. So that would mean if you have the June update or earlier, then your Xbox could be exploited with this. Now, there was some important caveats that was listed in here. And one of those being that you would not only need the game script application, but you also needed to download this advanced file explorer full trust app. Now, there's also another app that's just called Advanced File Explorer that is not full trust, and that one will absolutely not work. And so the reason I'm saying this a bit early on into this conversation is, is that folks that downloaded GameScript didn't really get a heads up here that they needed to download the Advanced File Explorer app. And so largely right now, there isn't that many people that's even able to run it. And even those that can, such as myself, the license certificate for that app has already expired. Now, there was some hope that was in here stating that, but in the future, it will just be with over a network. So we would be able to run this in the future again, as long as we have game script app already located on our machine now the usb keyboard emulator we could have gotten a heads up there as well with notepad t being a requirement as long as game along with game script and along with advanced file explorer to have completely avoided having a usb keyboard emulator now this is a reverse shell and it does require that your console is connected to a network now, the author did state here that the exploit is not fully reliable. Basically, you will either get failed output or the system may crash or reboot. Now, it's pretty easy to get up and running. Basically, you modify this line 7 of this script file to contain the local IP of your PC. And then you copy these three files right here which are all just located right here in this releases to the local state directory of the game script app. This is again where it needs that advanced file explorer. And then you open up a terminal or command prompt and you can listen on port 77 using netcat and then basically open up game script application and select show code run window and you should see something that's very similar to this. Now, over here on Twitter, obviously, there's been a number of folks that's already ran it. And this is some of the output from one of my friends here. And his said, connecting to this IP address, collateral damage, what the build number was. So they were on 4478, which means 
they were running the May 2024 build here. Then back to the tweet here, we can see attempting to find kernel base, and then it found it, attempting it, and succeeded. And right here, this is the S drive of the Xbox, because again, this is just a reverse shell. Now, this has already made its way through the scene, and I've seen a ton of different people that has been talking about, hey, you know, unfortunately, I never got the file explorer out. So I'll have to wait till the network payload, you know, comes out. And I basically entered here, you know, that's because it wasn't listed. And then obviously we see back here, you know, I wish it had been listed as required, but I can be patient and wait for the network exploit. And I'm absolutely the same way. Now there was a really good point that I thought that was brought up here. And basically what it was stating here was, was that the game script app itself will eventually time out where it needs to connect back to Microsoft servers in order to work. And if you're wondering a bit of what that looks like, right here is my advanced file explorer application. And mine won't run. It will say to continue reconnect to the Xbox. And that app doesn't work. I believe, as well as it seems like Twitter's agreeing, that even these other apps that's on here some of these are going to be expiring as well too. So I may be able to run game script today, but if I tried this maybe in a couple of weeks from now, I wouldn't be able to do it. And even since then, I've started playing or trying to play some of the games that I legally own and that I purchased. And I can't play them anymore without an internet connection on the Xbox, which is a big reason why nobody wants to deal with any of this digital stuff because I can't even play a game right here that I purchased, which is um, uh, pretty amazing. Now, since we've been talking here about some of these apps not working and the license possibly expiring, what we did see here was back from Emma was that some exploit faults now that I've gotten some sleep the thing that I'm the least happy with about this is the entry point. The fact that potential users for this are limited to people who downloaded a specific app in the window of time it was available is not ideal. So I wanted to go ahead and just share some of my thoughts of what I've at least seen and read about so far. We will have to see what develops with this exploit. If there is a way to get past the game script application, then this will be a big, wide, blown up thing. If it's always going to require the game script application, then probably it will fizzle and die. And that's just me being 100% honest. Anyway, thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, 